This is the last second-hand Dewey item to be dismantled. Model DCS 391. A Dewey power saw. Let's give it a try first. Its switch is different from many of our domestic ones. A lot of our domestic ones simply work by pressing down. Simply press the switch and it works. This one can't be pressed down, it must be pushed down. Look here, it's like this. You push it down. There's a key lock. If you try to press it directly, it won't work. This design is somewhat how to put it. A bit European and American before we start dismantling. Let's briefly discuss the craftsmanship of this. DCS 391. We don't have a new one. Let's discuss the old one. This could be considered as a review. First of all, the casing is made of aluminum. The base plate below is also aluminum. The base plate is vital. If you use an iron base plate, long-term use can easily cause deformation. An aluminum one won't deform. The handle is still the same. Of course, it's a plastic handle. The handle is a black one made of soft rubber. How to describe Dewey's craftsmanship? If we discuss it on the whole, the craftsmanship is actually quite poor. If you look at each needed underscore, it's not bad by any means. Now let's start dismantling it. I've just removed the four crucial screws on the machine. The motor is at the back. It can be directly removed from the back of the motor. Let's first remove it and have a look. One, two, three. Oh, it's a brushed motor. Let's take a look. The four copper ones above are carbon brushes. The ones inside are also carbon brushes. Uh, we should be able to see it up close. There has to be sparks. Let's plug it in and have a look, as this is an integrated motor. It doesn't fear not being able to communicate. Let's give it a try. There shouldn't be any major problems. Can you see this bright object? This is a spark from the carbon brush as it makes contact with the motor and rotates to create a conductive spark. This is a brushed motor. This 391 possibly is an old design as it possesses a brushed motor. Let's continue to remove the handle. Did anyone see this type of screw when it was dismantled just now? After unscrewing it, there were some shell residues on it. Such a device generally hasn't been dismantled. After dismantling it, let's open this now. This screw also has to be taken apart, and we take it out after it is removed. The internal structure of the machine is very simple. The electronic coil only comes out of two wires, and these two wires are connected to the positive and negative poles. And you can see that there are black and red electrodes, and you can turn the circle when they are connected to the positive and negative poles. There are not so many flower willow nuclear sentinels or control boards such and such things. This switch of- it's the same as a power saw switch on many of our wired machines. This lock is fixed on several shells. In fact, if we don't need the lock, in fact, we can open it and remove the lock. But for the sake of safety, I suggest that you still put on this safety lock and switch this machine. Let's see if there is one on it. A logo with an R ring. The Marquardt switch is a switch imported from Germany. Switches are also used where the machine is made. Do you have any questions? Let's take out the back cover now and take a look. Found is an all-English look model, DCS 39120V, with a voltage of 5,150 revolutions per minute speed. See, bottom right, made in Mexico, Mexico, Mexia, but the previous one is still, because they are USA, is the United States, which is relatively close, so it should be in foundry carried out by Mexico. A foundry in Mexico. This one is an out-and-out old beauty secondhand, everyone thinks. Guess? Uh, think it will be used like this with battery, with charger. How much money I got from the sea, you should be unthinkable price, you can guess.